Sonic State here at Superbooth 2018 with Michael from Zell. Uh, and it's Zell, how do I say the whole? It's a. Uh, it's Zell Electronic Tone Test. Okay. Yeah. And you specialize in analog mixing desks, mixing desks, large format consoles. Yes, and, we yeah. have. Uh, this is our, our largest console. This is the AM1 mm -hmm. here in a very small size. Right. Usually. Yeah. This would <laughs> extend to however many channels, more channels than right. that. Right. We also do small equipment as well, ah. which is oh, uh, and uh, 500 yeah. uh, format. But uh, uh, here, I think here uh, the main topic will be mm -hmm. will be the AM1. Right. So there is um, something rather different that you're showing here today. This is a new, a brand, yeah. new, a brand new thing. Yeah. Right. Which is, and this is a really interesting thing at Superbooth, this is a means to have a CV channel strip. Right, right. I've not seen something like this before. Would you like to talk us through it, please? Yeah, okay. So um, here we have mono channels, stereo yep. channels, mm -hmm. uh, with a very uh, 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 straight and integer uh, signal flow. Mm -hmm. And... Um, no VCA allowed here because mm -hmm. because we we really have highest quality uh, audio mm. uh, in there, but lots of our customers um, are into CV uh, modular equipment as mm -hmm. well. So we decided to um, in, in in this channel go to uh, um, to a, a format where we make all. Con all uh, parameters CV controllable. Wow. So you recognize here all elements of a stereo channel, yeah. like the input gain, mm -hmm. the input balance, yep. then we have a filter section, then we have here um, uh, a direct aux, we have an insert section, mm -hmm. and so on. So all the same elements that yeah. we have on a normal on channel. A normal channel. Yeah. But um, you see on each parameter uh, we have a source, a CV source, ah, selectable. Yeah. Then we have a amount party, mm -hmm. um, and then the parameter. Mm. So all those will add up to control the VCA. Mm. So, so there are the VCAs in this. This there are uh, uh, a real lot of VCAs <laughs> in there. We probably yeah. sixty or something. Wow. Um, and this allows a complete different way of working. Okay. So um, you can, can connect this to uh, external uh, equipment, modular equipment yep. that you have. So um, there are on the rear, there are five inputs this, uh, for, yeah, we have here a demonstration thing. So you can, you can connect uh, one to five external inputs mm. from the modular world. Mm. And here on those rotary switches, on each parameter, you can select one, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. And then you imagine uh, this potentiometer being at fully counterclockwise. Mm -hmm. So, and now a CV coming through this uh, input. Mm -hmm. uh, and I turn the amount all the way positive. What it will actually do is it will open up right. that potentiometer, mm -hmm. getting this having this full up mm. and going all the way negative yeah. will close this potentiometer. Mm. So by external CV yeah. plus the setting that you do here, yeah. you can really control each of those parameters. Wow. And the real uh, interesting thing is mm. when you combine them. So you just probably you heard something here. I don't know whether the setup is still uh, available, I'm, I'm not sure. We had a setup where you would, by adding a control voltage, now we don't have the setup uh, uh, proper here, by adding a control voltage you would probably at the same time add reverb by opening an auxiliary send, mm -hmm. at the same time um, narrow the frequency band, yeah. so like driving the high pass uh, in one direction, a low pass in the other direction. Yeah. So, so you changing the like sound. So with your sequencer, right. you essentially are able right. to bring these creative, yeah, the right, creative, well, like effects to the channel. Yeah, 
right that's it so it's yeah. it's two things you could actually have a, a noise as an input signal yeah. and by all this treatment mm -hmm. form your own sound mm -hmm. so that that's like sound designing yeah. feature the other thing is to have a very creative way of mixing mm -hmm. uh, by having all this mm -hmm. available and we have these five external sources, but we also have internal sources, oh. which is uh, an envelope uh, yeah, generator, a very simple it. one, yeah, yeah. like a they tech release, yeah. which can be triggered by the input signal mm. or by any external signal or by hand, uh, by, by, by a switch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then we have an envelope follower here, mm -hmm. along with a gate, oh, cool. and also a, a, an internal trigger. Then we have a fluctuation circuit, which ah, is like um, randomizer. like yeah, yeah, it's a sort of a sloped uh, random mm -hmm. uh, random thing, yes. um, and all these internal uh, are available on on these rotary switches as well. Ah, neat. Right, and wow. if you have several channels, we have a busing system, so you can route from one channel. Mm -hmm the signal oh, to right. the next and cool. use it there. And this is actually the, the, the real, um, or, or probably one of the, the, the most interesting uses. Mm -hmm. One is to trigger manually yeah. or to you know, have a master control over several parameters. But the other is get that triggered trigger. by another channel's channel. audio, yeah. oh, like yeah. a bass drum or whatever mm. opens up uh, something mm. y you have here one two special effects um, on the uh, on the channel are uh, like on the insert we have a dry wet mm -hmm. so you insert anything here yeah. and by CV control you just, just you know go over to uh, 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 the the inserted the insert, signal yeah. and go back, back. again oh, so you could then here like we have the noise. the stereo base mm -hmm. feature uh, stereo base, uh, it's based on, on the mid-side technology okay. where you have from the center position, which is stereo, mm -hmm. you can narrow the picture going oh, to, to mono, mono. Yeah. or you difference. go all the way to the different yeah. signal, like it's widen wide, over yeah. stereo. Mm -hmm. And this also is you controllable. Can, so you can modulate so that. imagine on, yeah, so on some can, uh, yeah. on, on some signal, yeah. the stereo pitch opens yeah. up and breaks right. down. So again. you can like make a, cor like a chorus open up yeah. Yeah. and then close it down. Nice. So, so the, yeah. this is this is just so a really whole world bringing um, like a real creative because a mixing desk is a quite a creative place anyway. Yeah, but this yeah. is bringing another level right. of creativity, right. isn't it? And just also, it's just reaching across into that other world, right? Right. Which is quite unusual for like a large console mixing yeah, desk. Yeah. I've never seen it before. No, I, I haven't. So this probably is a first, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> wow. So when do you think it will be available? Um, well, this the, the development is, is it, final. Right, good. Uh, but um, we are a company that only builds on demand anyway. Okay. So if you want to buy a desk, yeah. you will have to wait six, seven, eight months okay, about that time. Special. If you want this, mm -hmm. first of all, I mean, there are quite some customers who already have AM1, which are waiting for that. So right. we'll have a, a start first, first uh, series, yes. uh, which we'll, we will start right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess then, I mean, it, it's coming uh, ready to be ordered, <laughs> but you can't buy it off the shelf. I mean, how many of these channels would you, would you imagine someone could actually want? Well, there are people uh, <laughs> you want the whole that, desk in there. that would probably yeah. go for a whole number, but, right. but I think <laughs> uh, a reasonable... Yeah. Uh, a reasonable number would be at least two mm -hmm. because it makes it. Then you can get the, you the, have two, the interaction, the interaction yeah. between the channels. Yeah, and if you have four mm -hmm. of them, that's that's quite a good. Oh, pretty pretty awesome. Yeah, one, yeah, yeah. Now, we have to ask the question: Do you know how much it's all going to cost? Um, there will be um, the price fixing will be done later, yeah. okay. but um, there's a lot of work in here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot of handwork yeah. and a lot of material. And you, you have one here, yeah. so we can actually see. Yeah, this is like a mechanical sample that we did. There are no no parts on there yet, mm -hmm. but you can see all the number of PCBs, which yeah. then will be filled with uh, high quality components. Mm -hmm. You can see our hand worked uh, potentiometers. Uh, and so on. Mm -hmm. So this is from the material and from yeah. the work, mm -hmm. um, high class product. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Wow. Well, I think it's really interesting and very, uh, yeah, really 
wow, comp- a quite brave thing to do, but I think an exciting thing to do. I, I can't wait to see one in action, really. It's sort of, uh, yeah, I mean, as you're explaining it, I was just kind of thinking, oh, yes, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. Because some of this you might be able to do within the realm of, like, within inside the computer or possibly, yeah, or, you know, within yeah. a reactor ensembles or various things but actually in the analog domain yeah it's very unique I mean this is the whole idea of that I mean (laughs) uh, this is all not my idea but goes back to the concept from Mark Anestis Mm -hmm. uh, who I'm very lucky to have met him some years ago and and the whole concept of the console goes Mm -hmm. back to uh, his thoughts uh, uh, about how the operational surface should be Mm -hmm. And uh, this was from the beginning one of his uh, mm. um, very essential ideas yeah. to have this bridge. Yes. And the point is here on that whole desk, really, you you can close your eyes mm-hmm. and uh, uh, yeah. um, work on here. Yeah. It's a completely different thing than computer. Oh, for sure. So we don't yeah. say a computer is bad and analog is good for because sure. all our customers they have both yeah it's different so you it? so it's we always say yeah. do in the computer what yeah. it can do best yeah. and there are lots of things that you can do better in a computer but if you want this mm-hmm. then um yeah we try to make it as mm. um yeah so so it, it should be fun to work <laughs> on that definitely so on this is from yeah. from our first impression yeah. that we spend on there yeah. It's really all these possibilities. Yeah, well, the possibilities uh, are endless, aren't they? It, it's it's really fun to mm. work on that. Well, thank you very much for showing us this. I think it's a, it's totally fascinating and completely unique. And congratulations! <laughs> I think it's brilliant. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.